let's have a car chat <laughs> excuse the mic but we need the mic present okay it's hot in here welcome back to my channel it's your girl stephanie with the y don't forget to subscribe this is going to be a really important video this one is going to be very relatable for a lot of people so it's basically for my girls that just work hard forget to play too hard this is for the ones that work themselves overwork themselves down to the ground and this is for the ones who just feel their mental health declining because they're overthinking about their content for social media like instagram tiktok keeping up with the trends all that it sounds relatable yeah so you might want to keep on watching <laughs> also this video is not just for content creators it's for anyone in any type of profession it's really if you just have a poor work to personal life balance which happens to almost all of us we're gonna make sure we go in order and number one you have to recognize your red flags <laughs> like there's literally no other way to say it but you know that feeling you get when you're talking to someone getting to know them and there's just a couple things off mm, your body's sending you alert like something's off sis something is off yeah that's that's the red flag i'm talking about we have that for ourselves as well the thing about your body is like it is so smart it is going to give you a sign at all times when something is off something just doesn't feel right and when you start to not feel right your body is going to let you know a lot of these signs can be as simple as just not feeling motivated you're losing interest in something you once cared for it can be as simple as that or that you're just really having a hard time to get <laughs> about anything at all you don't feel like your best self and these are the signs that i'm talking about so as soon as you do notice that you're going through that or you've been experiencing this for a minute you're burnt out babe or you're about to be and i don't want that to happen so let's prevent this right now this one is so underrated so underrated once you listen to your red flags it's on to the next step the next step is an underrated but favorite of mine detoxing yeah. we are detoxing everything anyone any platform any environment any situation that's causing you stress gotta go especially if it's a reoccurring event baby girl what are you doing it gotta go cut it out detox we are not with metro anymore we are with at t okay like literally if you're costing me my peace you have to go that's it period there that's not a negotiable it can be very hard to detach from things but trust me it makes a huge difference personally speaking i'm a content creator that means i'm always on my phone and of course this is a world of technology so not only am i on my phone for work but because i also want to consume funny entertaining content too i want to read up on the news i want to do this and that i want to learn a new language or you can connect with someone across the world like we have everything at our fingertips, so becoming attached to it definitely can become a problem. For me personally, I recommend detoxing from your phone, whether that's 30 minutes a day or do a whole week, like off of Instagram, like delete the app. Like I've done that and every time I come back, I feel way better, way better. To the point where I don't even keep notifications on for any of my platforms. I let a few, like I specifically allow a few to come through for like creativity purposes. Yeah, I'm not saying go crazy for a whole week and not use your phone at all or don't use Instagram for 30 days. Like it's up to you, but we definitely should have a limit. Learn Learning to go through your daily routines, drinking coffee, spend the whole morning just to yourself without your phone makes a huge difference. Like it feels amazing just knowing that you're putting your energy into you. First of all, you're like everything. Especially as a creator, sometimes you do feel overwhelmed just by endlessly scrolling on Instagram and TikTok. Maybe shitty because you're not in Cabo right now with your girls. Like, I don't know. Whatever the case may be, just take a break learn and take a break and there's actually a creator and if i find her name i will put it in the description box but she said that if you go into your settings that you can actually put a time limit on certain apps on your phone also another hack that i found from twitter girlies i love twitter if you put your phone settings so that everything's in black and white it's like a brain hack so that you don't want to be on your phone girl that shit works for me i do that with my do not disturb and i'm good 
And the last way I love to detox is just a good old brain dump. This is not new. It's an old technique, but I started implementing it in my life. And girl, it helps so much. Like, I'm always thinking about a million different things because I'm trying to accomplish a million different things in life. And I, for some reason, think I don't have enough time or the same 24 hours as Beyonce. So I always have a lot going on in my mind. But brain dumping, throwing everything that you have scattered up here or that's been on your mind for a minute on paper. Superior. Top, top tier. <laughs> that actually leads us to our next point. Oh, so nicely. Oh, yeah. Nice transition. Which is prioritizing. You're about to get burnt out because you feel probably overwhelmed. Or that you just have a million and one tabs open right now. You don't know where to start. Prioritizing could be a huge helper for you. And knowing what to prioritize is obviously going to be tailored to your goals. But please, 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 when you are prioritizing your to-do list or whatnot, do not do too much. Be realistic because I used to be that type of girl that thought I could do 1,500 things in one day while being a mother. <laughs> no, it doesn't work that way. I am a human being like i need sleep and i need to eat i need to slow down so please be realistic when you are prioritizing your goals i now only have three things on my list and if it goes beyond that it's a bonus <laughs> like literally so we have to be realistic with ourselves about what we can actually do and get done this process requires a lot of grace to yourself being patient and nice with yourself and I'm saying it really slowly so that it can be a reminder to myself because sometimes I forget to give myself that same grace as I would to someone else. Also, major tip for my content girlies, uh, influencers, if you do batch content creating, your life will be so much easier. When I tell you that I barely do as much content as I used to do, I post six times a week on TikTok. So that's almost every day. And I barely do content the same way I used to like two years ago. Like I am working smarter, not harder. So you should too. And if you do want to see how I set up my batch content creating days, let me know down in the comments below and I got you. Y'all see the hair color though? Oh, she's vibrant. But also subtle. Yeah. <laughs> and lastly, which brings me to my final and favorite point, spoil yourself spoil yourself we have got to reward ourselves we have got to learn to love ourselves you got to stop doing that okay i'm sorry but i really wanted to put that in if you know you know but we really had to start loving ourselves to the fullest extent when i tell you that i'm romanticizing my life i meant that and i'm doing that and i'm enjoying and i'm enjoying my life like we are not machines we deserve a break we are human beings like we should not just be working to work there are people who don't even make it to my age your age like yeah no i'm gonna take every moment i can to celebrate me because i'm doing a damn thing i'm working my ass off like i'm i'm really doing that i'm gonna celebrate my life in every single way i just hit 500 subscribers you know what i'm gonna call a friend and go get drinks you just posted consistently for two weeks? Yo, let's go to the spa. Oh, you lost five pounds? I don't even care about how long it took you. You lost five pounds? Bet, let's go on a trip. <laughs> Every time you hit a milestone or you've done something that just makes you truly happy, reward yourself. There is no shame in that. I changed my profile on Instagram so that I'm, I'm representing more of who I feel like I'm becoming, <laughs> which is a soft ever girl. <laughs> and the profile picture is just this but i mean look at it it's giving it's giving it's giving everything <laughs> there's not there's not even a specific word it's just giving everything as it should so yeah that is my final and my favorite point my tip on how to prevent yourself from feeling burnt out because we're not doing it anymore okay we are moving forward and yeah as we continue to grow though i really feel like i'm gonna be making more of these videos because i just have so much that i want to tell y'all and yeah if we're on a journey to becoming better versions of ourselves because we're always elevating i want you guys to elevate with me too i want you at the top with me too so 
you know, if, if you down for the ride, hit the subscribe button, become part of the familia, and I'll see you guys in my next video.